Recently, the keyword, how we got to the moon, has become one of the most searched topics on social networks. In addition to NASA's hot announcement of the delayed schedule for the moon mission, the solutions of Elon Musk, the leader of SpaceX on this matter, have also become a focal point of interest. Why is that? In reality, SpaceX plays an indispensable role in NASA's mission to return to the moon. They have awarded the company a contract to manufacture the lunar lander for safely delivering astronauts to the lunar surface. Of course, for SpaceX to accomplish this, they must autonomously transport the lunar lander or Starship HLS into lunar orbit. This process crucially involves refueling the rocket in orbit. Recognizing the importance of this aspect and aiming to reaffirm the resilience of their development approach, Elon Musk shared, We also want to demonstrate that on-orbit refueling is very important for the NASA Artemis program. Indeed, the ability to in-space refueling is a game-changer. The most obvious benefits of refueling is the ability to extend mission duration. Spacecraft, whether satellites, crewed missions, or probes, are constrained by their fuel capacity. Once its fuel is expended, the mission ends and the satellite often becomes space debris. Refueling allows these assets to extend their operational life, making missions more flexible and cost-effective. Moreover, this capacity enables Starship to embark on deep space exploration missions, setting targets for distant destinations that require substantial fuel, such as the Moon and eventually Mars. In addition, refueling also increases the payload capacity for cargo transport in the spacecraft. Imagine a scenario where the spacecraft has to carry all the fuel it'll use from the launch. The cargo it can carry is limited because as the mass increases, the thrust decreases resulting in a shorter travel distance. Hence, refueling allows the spacecraft to be designed to enhance payload capacity and enable scientific instruments to operate at higher capabilities, fundamentally increasing their potential value. This is also why Starship cannot immediately travel to the moon in the manner of Apollo 11, the first moon landing mission in 1969. Without refueling and equipment, Starship, weighing up to 125 tons, is nearly 30 times heavier than the Apollo 11 lunar lander. And it'll probably end up being even heavier in the end because SpaceX has not presented the exact weight calculations for a Starship with tiles, electronic equipment, and an expected load of up to 150 tons. SpaceX estimates that 1,200 tons of fuel, liquid oxygen, and methane must be used to complete a lunar landing and not least to be able to leave the moon again. This means that Starship needs to be refueled a total of 14 times in orbit to have enough fuel. Information on Starship requiring 14 refueling missions originates from a report submitted to SpaceX by the U.S. government. It also states that the refueling missions will be spaced approximately 12 days apart. However, Elon Musk has since stated that the 14 refueling missions are a conservative estimate. The refueling could be done in eight missions, possibly four if Starship's only filled up to half and if the flaps in the heat shield are dropped. Despite Elon's statements, NASA officials remain skeptical, casting doubt on the possibility of refueling missions reaching up to 20 times in November of last year. Although the results are not clearly defined between the two parties, just over a week ago during a press conference on NASA's Artemis moon exploration efforts, Jessica Jensen, vice president of Dragon Mission Management at SpaceX, mentioned that it might take roughly be 10-ish. It could be lower depending on how well the first flight tests go, or it could be a little higher. Anyway, this is a process involving many steps, including various technical challenges that SpaceX must overcome. One of the technical challenges we have to solve is orbital refilling, Elon Musk shared in his talk. But he also confidently said SpaceX has demonstrated rendezvous and docking through Dragon missions. Now we've gotten very good at docking because we dock with Dragon at the space station. We have a lot of expertise in docking. And they will leverage the capabilities they've learned to apply them to Starship. Elon Musk's declaration regarding the future plans for Starship once again ignites the flame of ambitious exploration for enthusiasts of space like us. How long has it been since we returned to the moon? It's been 66 years since the last time we set foot on the moon. But now... SpaceX will help us return and go even further. In its pursuit of lunar exploration, SpaceX has set its sights on a monumental goal. We actually want to far exceed what NASA's asked us to do, announced Elon Musk. It's not just taking humans to the moon, but you could actually have a permanently occupied moon base, 
that's the next really big threshold from Apollo is to have an actual moon base. What Elon Musk envisions is a sci-fi inspired program with a moon base like Space 1999's moon base Alpha. Located in the moon crater Plato and constructed out of quarried rocks and ores, moon base Alpha is four kilometers in diameter and extends up to one kilometer in areas below the lunar surface. The complex extends outward from the central main mission tower in a series of concentrically arranged curved structures connected by travel tube transit tunnels. Apart from the central tower, the surface buildings are two to three stories in height. Musk envisioned a future where humanity not only lands on the moon, but establishes a permanent presence, unlocking unprecedented possibilities for scientific research and resource utilization and even serving as a stepping stone for journeys to Mars. Ultimately, Elon emphasized the company's commitment to accelerating production and testing processes, advocating for a high cadence of launches. This commitment is driven by the understanding that rapid iteration and testing are the cornerstones of technological advancement. By increasing launch cadence, SpaceX seeks to not only enhance its existing capabilities, but also expedite the development of new technologies that will play a crucial role in achieving the audacious goals set for the Moon and Mars missions. To be honest, many people have doubted SpaceX's ambition, but let's look at SpaceX, where they are, and what their track record looks like. In 2023 alone, SpaceX successfully completed two Starship launches and 96 launches of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. Within approximately three months, they plan to launch Starship once again in February 2024 and aim to increase the total number of launches to 144 from now till the end of the year. Just four years ago, SpaceX developed a colossal spacecraft unlike anything they had, and within 18 months, they launched five Starship prototypes into the sky, culminating in one prototype reaching an altitude of 10 kilometers and successfully landing. Five years ago, they started flying the Block 5 Falcon 9, the workhorse, the most powerful, most reusable rocket ever. Even then, they flew Falcon Heavy for the first time. The most powerful rocket succeeded on a first test flight and landing two out of three boosters safely and sending a car-sized payload with passengers to a trans-Mars injection orbit. Seven years ago, they started reflying used boosters. Eight years ago, they landed the first boosters. Ten years ago, the first Falcon 9s had only flown five times on their 1.0 variant and had never landed a spaceship. Fifteen years ago, SpaceX was getting the first Falcon 1 into orbit. It seems like five years is the sweet spot for SpaceX, getting from one system to another, and that they are constantly accelerating their systems. Let's look forward to the incredible things that SpaceX can bring in the future and surely not disappoint us. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you to watch. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.